how to draw and color an action character. What's up, everybody? This is another quick video of inking a, a, an original character I created. Almost like in the form of Dragon Ball Z, but, you know, in my way. Uh, long story short, this is going to speed it up. you see me ink it up real quick. Then we'll go into details. Hit the like button and subscribe. Peace. Dragon Ball Z inspired Marvel type. You know, I could get a more detail. More detail will come when I add the color, so stay tuned for that. I decided to change it up a little bit because, you know, I, I like drawing females, ladies, pretty women, stuff like that, and painting uh, uh, different types of subjects, but. Uh, when I'm talking about a, a character, this is what I like doing on the side. Uh, action characters, watching uh, anime, Dragon Ball Z, and Marvel. So I try to mix the two uh, styles together, and this is what I came up with. Okay, all I'm doing now is adding color to the previous action original character I created. You know, it was, uh, you know, motivated by watching some Dragon Ball Z and, uh, yeah, what's the best way to say it? You know, and, of course, I grew up on Marvel Comics, but this character, actually, I don't have a name for him yet, but I, I could tell he has a feisty, hot personality since his hair look at his hair so yeah his powers mm, well we really don't know what his powers are gonna be but hey spicy. I'm just uh, trying to blend in with these. Colored markers, I never use them like this, but seeing how good they did it, they're doing all right. For what I'm trying to accomplish, I guess you could say, for the look I'm going for. <laughs> you know, I'm um, I, I'm still doing it. The what some would say the old way. I'm not using no iPad. I'm not using the digital art stuff. I still like doing stuff with my hand. Eventually, I will do that in the future, you know. But uh, you know, hey, I like the feel. I like grabbing a brush. I like grabbing a pen. I like 
grabbing a pencil. I like doing that. I like, you know, I still like that. Even though you can use pencils and pens virtually you know, on, on those apps. Yeah, of course you can. I'm not knocking nobody who's doing it. But as for me, I like I like this approach still, you know. I have many different types of pens to accommodate what I'm trying to accomplish artistically, you know. So, we're just experimenting with him. But, I think it's all right. Give me uh, a pen and a pad, and we'll make it do what it do. Give me a paintbrush and some acrylic. I, I, I can work with acrylic. I can work with oil. But for me, at this time, I like acrylic because I, I don't really have time like that to, I don't want to say waste um, on oil painting, but I, I like to, you can get the same results with acrylic as long as you know, you know how to use it, your technique. This right here is just me, you know, relaxing on a nice Saturday after going shopping. I have a teenager going to high school. So I have to go take him shopping and stuff. Get him squared away for the new year. Man, summer's just flying by now. But I got Chris. Let me go. Peel back and look one side. Oh, that, that effect is coming out lovely. I like the way this blended in. I, I did it the opposite. And what I mean by that, uh, I don't know, one of my other videos I explained that, yeah, you put the color in first and then you put the darker light uh, accents or lines in for the outline of what you're doing. So sometimes I like to do the opposite and put the outline of the character on first, then either leave it like that, choose to leave it like that, or decide on, hey, you wanna, wanna go ahead and add some color to it to give it a little life. You know, again, either how you look at it. Boy, look at that, look at that. You, you you can beat it, but you can't beat it. You know, it just gives a great effect even. If you know, how to, it just makes his hair look intense, right? Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. If you have an idea of what I should call him, please be my guest. Let me know in the comments down below. Let's see how the hair can stand it up a little bit so you can see. So the hair came out. That's really nice. Using this technique, you saw how I colored the hair. I went from light to dark, you know, from the top to the bottom to give it that, you know, 3D effect, the thickness. So you you can easily follow along and create your own character and do his hair similar to this. Now I add some uh, enhanced uh, shadowing to the uh, skin, as you can see as we go along. Here we go. Uh, before I get started, let me raise this up so you could 
look at the detail of the hair a little closer and you could change the color of course hope you're enjoying this art exploration we're doing we're going to keep doing it yeah it got some imperfection i'm looking at it right now but hey i know what they are you tell me what you see i see i say it the eyes i i i didn't do the eyes right i kind of rushed when i did the sketch but it's all good uh we're gonna keep it moving that's what it's all about with paint with drawing with art no one can tell you how or what it is, I, I tell my sons, you could fly. With music, you could fly like Superman with art. It's your piece of art that you're sharing with the world. No one can tell you when it's finished and so on. So if you agree, let me know in the comments down below. All right, here is the enhancement of the uh, skin. You know, you can see the shadowing where it has more details. I've been working on a patch for uh, his outfit, but you can see, you know, it's almost like a real uh, character in a cartoon. I, I will eventually do some layering effect, what I mean by that. Put something in the background to make him stand out a little more. But I'm going to save that for another time, show you how to do that. Okay, that is the video today. If you like what we're doing here, don't forget to tell a pen, like, share, and comment down below, and peace.